guys, my name is Bobby, and welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm here to talk to you about, has anyone told you about Richard Lehman? I have decided that I'm going to do a read-through of all of Richard Lehman's work, all of his books, except for his weird little series that he has with somebody else, like it's a Western kind of series or something like that. I'm not going to do that. If you don't know who Richard Lehman is, I'm really sorry. Um, most people have not heard of him. Richard Lehman is a horror author who is really underrated in my opinion. He was, he's American, but he was really famous in like, Europe and stuff like that. Most of his books are blurbed by Dean Koontz, Stephen King, like big name horror authors here in the States, but he never really made it big here in the States. And I stumbled upon his books in like my early 20s. And I don't remember, I think my mom handed me one, like they found it at like a garage sale or something like that and read it and I loved his books so like I was online trying to buy as many of his books as possible. What's hard is that a lot of his books are out of print because um, he died in 2001 of a heart attack so he never really got the US fame that he wanted or recognition that he wanted. I know I think he's been nominated for a couple Bram Stoker awards like way in the past but with his death a lot of his books have now fallen out of print because he's been gone for so long. I've read I think almost every single one of his books. Like I have a couple that are extreme favorites. So I think what I've decided to do, because I've not, I've only heard one booktuber, one, and it was like Peter likes books and he read one of Richard Lehman's books, one of his not so great ones, honestly. And like, that's the only person I've ever heard mention Richard Lehman. Like, and I follow a lot of people who like scary books and horror, like Katie at Chapter Stack, Samantha Leanne at Leanne Reads. Like there's so many people who like horror and they, they've never heard of him. So I'm here to educate you. Granted, I don't have the following like these other channels have, but I hope that this will get some kind of reach so that people will pick up his books. Like, I love his books. Um, a lot of his books, like, trigger warnings, literally for everything. Like, he does not hold back. He is a graphic horror author. From what I've seen online, like, the way people put him, some people say that he's considered, like, splatterpunk horror, which I, I guess I kind of agree with, but not really, because to me... Like, when I think of, like, splatterpunk horror, like, all it is is just body horror. Like, the entire time, like, just death after death with no real plot. Like, a lot of Richard Lehman's books have a, have a really good solid plot. Yeah, there's a lot of death and gore, but there's still a plot. Like, there's, you know, you still get to know the characters and, like, care about some of these characters. Some, it's kind of like a horror movie, you know, you're just here to die. Um, but some of them are really, really good. Like, The Island... I'll insert a picture of it here. The Island is one of my favorites. That one is a very, very slow burn. That was one of the first ones I read. I'm like, how is this horror? It's a slow burn. And to have a slow burn horror, you it's not just all blood and gore. Um, there is um, Body Rides, which when I get to that one, I will explain the comparison to another popular book that everybody's obsessed with that I hated because I think this book did it better. And this book came way before. Um, the Traveling Vampire Show, another one that I absolutely love that was amazing and I read it and I just absolutely loved it. So I own a lot of these. A lot of them I don't know where they are because I've loaned them out and never got them back because I had bought all of them. Some of them I do own in physical copy. So what I'm going to do, and this is just happened to be a really nice thing, on Kindle Unlimited, almost all of his published works, all of the ones that are not out of print, all of his major published works, are on Kindle Unlimited so I can read them all for free on ebook and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read his books in publication order starting with The Seller which I'll insert here because I believe The Seller is the first one. Let me check my notes because I had to write everything down just to make sure. Um, where is it? Yeah, The Seller. It was written in 1980. So 80s horror it's the first one. It is book one of the Beast House series. I believe there's three in the Beast House series and they will come through as they are released. So the first book was in 1980 and the last one was in 2005. So I think that was obviously the ones released in 2002, 2004, and 2005 were posthumously. Like, I think that's how you say that word after he died. Um, but yeah, there's, I think I counted and there's like oh, close to 30 books, I believe, that he's written. Um, some of them, like, I've, I'm, like, looking through. So I'm going to read The Seller first. That was in 1980. So I'm going to add The Seller most likely to my November TBR. 
and maybe the second one because I don't want to do like a book a month because there's so many books that I don't want to be doing this for two years like and his books are really fast reads they're only right around like 300 350 pages maybe um, I think the traveling vampire show is a little bit longer the island is a little bit longer but most of them are like between two about 300 pages ish so I can and I can get through them so fast because it's like suck you in from page one and it's like go all the way some are kind of silly from what I remember some of them are kind of silly but I just want to reread them I want people to read Richard Lehman like I mean but you have to have a strong stomach like a lot of graphic violence um all sorts of kinds of death like shooting stabbing like I mean a lot of graphic violence also strong trigger warnings for rape or sexual assault like he tends to favor really his villains are depressed like they are the definition of depravity like they are so depraved and terrible like so there's a lot of sexual violence if you can't handle sexual violence don't even bother trying to read these um almost every single one of them that i remember has some sexual violence while it's not gratuitous some people think it is i don't because that's just his style of writing like he's just very which i guess kind of fits into the splatter punk because he is just very it's horror and to me that's horror like I don't want to read a horror novel where I'm snoozing all the way through and then there's, oh, there's a big scary ghost at the end. That, that's boring. Like, I want to read something that's like where I'm at the edge of my seat and so suspenseful that I want to sleep with the lights on. Or like if somebody talks to me, I jump because I'm so engrossed and so freaked out. And his books, his books did that for me. So I'm going to read them again. Like almost every single one of them is going to be a reread. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to read at least one or two a month and then I guess it let me know what you want would you rather me just include them in my wrap-ups each month or do you want me to do separate reviews for them it might be easier to do separate reviews since you know I'm doing this read through of all of his works that I can get my hands on that it would be in order um, that it would be easier to probably do the reviews like separately like review each book and give a little bit more content and then I can do a little bit like spoiler free I, I'll probably do spoiler free because I'm not well, then there's me and I tend to ruin everything. So, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me know if you have any preference. Would you rather me just do it in a wrap up or would you prefer a separate review since I'm doing this this way anyways? Like I'm going to do a read along, I guess a read along, pre you know, you should do a separate review. So let me down, down in the comments what you would prefer. So back on track, The Sellers, number one, that is the first published book in 1980. Um, the next book is called Your Secret Admirer, also 1980. It's YA, um, and I had a hard time finding it, and I'm just going to focus on his adult books. And so then book number two that I'll be reading is The Woods Are Dark. That was published in 1981. Um, the book after that is Nightmare Lake, 1983. It is out of print. Um, Dawson City, 1984, also out of print. Can't even get it on ebook. Um, and then the next one is Night Show in 1984. I can only find that book in German even an ebook. I can only find it in German. He was also very popular in Europe, so it doesn't surprise me. So I'm reading, I'm going to read The Cellar in November, and then The Woods Are Dark, and then the next one after that is Beware from 1985. So I'll try to read those, those first three, or at least get to the first two in November. Whatever I don't, we'll just carry on to the next one, and I'll add on to it. Um, we've got quite a few books. I'm really, really, really excited to do this. Like I've been wanting to reread his books for such a long time and I've heard nobody talk about it on booktube. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a read through. I'm going to do a read through of all of his works and we'll see how this goes. It's the perfect time of year to do it. I thought about do it starting it in October, but there's the two readathons I'm doing in October. It just wasn't feasible to also throw that on top. So I figure I'll start in November and I'll just keep the horror going. Horror is one of my favorite genres. Hopefully I can get more people to read Richard Lehman. I mean, I know he's kind of, you know, trigger warning, like for literally everything, but that's horror. If you're going to read horror, you're, there's going to be stuff. It's not going to be fluff. It's going to be gory or it's going to be scary. There's going to be some graphic content. Okay, that's it. Let me know down below what you think. Are you excited I'm doing this? Are you curious to see like how the books are? Um, please let me know down below. I'm so excited to get back into him again and to reread his books and hopefully get him out there on booktube into the horror community and the mystery thriller community so i'm so excited to do this uh, make sure you like subscribe comment all the good stuff and i will see you guys later bye